all right guys welcome back we are done with our video watch page we can see recommended videos we can see view cans users can like and dislike videos they can also subscribe and they can also provide comments regarding the video all right that's all for this watch page for now and what we want to work on uh, is the um, video analytic dashboard where the channel owners can see the statistic performance of their video like the number of view counts for each videos the number of like the number of dislike each video has and also the number of comments things like that and also they can also perform some let's say edit their videos probably they want to edit each other the video title video descriptions and all that they can also do that in that dashboard and they can also decide to delete any videos that they don't want anymore in their channel so that's the dashboard that we want to build now all right so we can see similar uh, functionalities in our regular youtube channel so if we head now this channel this and uh, use the current login user has a channel that's how we are seeing your channel here so we can visit the channel of the logged in user and this is the channel the, the logged in user can decide to edit his channel which we already done before you can decide to change the channel and uh, name channel art and channel icon probably provide the description for his channel all right so what we want to get working now is this uh, v club studio when the user clicks on this vclub studio you should take the user to the analytic dashboard all right so where the users will see the different information regarding their videos so this is not working now so this is want to get working now all right so if you are just joining us for the first time please check other videos in this channel and also don't forget to subscribe and also give this video a thumbs up all right so without wasting most of our time let's head over to our code editor for in our view.py file probably after the channel page you can put it anywhere we're going to create the function that is going to handle the view for our dashboard people also want to take it slow because each dashboard is actually specific to a channel that has this dashboard which we just query with the get object of 404 which we pass in our channel or in model and want to query the slug feed because this channel model has a slug feed equal to the slug that is passed into the URL. Alright, so that will give us our channel. So we can just simply create our context dictionary. Alright, so that's that. So we can just return the render so we can render the can render the templates for the dashboard. Alright, that's that. So we'll create a URL for this right now. So then alright, so we need to bring in our dashboard and function we just created. Right, so we just let's just copy alright, so you can just use this on our dashboard. dashboard. Alright, that should be the name. Okay, that's perfect. So once we go to slash channel slash dashboard followed by the slug, we have that in view rate. Yeah, so we can save this. Right, so what we need to do now is to bring this uh, template in. So yeah. alright, so I already have a template already designed for this dashboard. Let me just show you this is the look of the template. Alright, this is what we're going to be using, but we'll be having a little customization and all that. Right, so these are the template I'm going to bring. And this template is not going to be extending from the base.html because of the a little different in the header. You can see the header here is different from our normal uh, header. You can see we're having different icons here and all that. So, a little different. And this dashboard also. So, because of that, we're not going to be extending from the base. We're going to be using just full. We can create a separate base file also where we can just put this new layout with this sidebar and this. Or we can just bring everything inside the same templates. So, that's what we're going to be doing here. So, I don't want to actually bore you with much HTML. So, I'm just going to bring out, bring in the templates here with the CSS and JavaScript, then we'll work on the dynamic parts together. 
all right all right guys i've um, bring in the template i just uh, load static and also bring in our channel and check and uh, fit tag that we created earlier along the series and also we linked in our custom the css because this is css we'll be using um, and these are just normal uh, html you can see where we linked in our home our home page to the video and page and also all these are just in table css and also here yeah, we also bring in other links where we have an uh, upload file we have file. all right so that's just for that and then uh, there's nothing much eventually what we're actually doing in this heading we are using the same heading we have in our base of html but just making something to change this to it so that's just it so that's for that and then the sidebar we bring in the sidebar in here you can see where we have the sidebar these are your table css i don't want to really go and start playing with a lot of css and uh, HTML, you can actually build your dashboard yourself, you can style it the way you want to your taste. So that's not the point about this video. So that's it. We're not actually bringing out anything dynamic. So if we actually save this now and preview in our browser, this is what we'll have. You can see what we are having here. This button, which is the button to create a video. We see have a drop down where you have your channel and other stuff here. It's still here and these are just dummy uh, values to talk about videos and number of subscribers are dummy values and this is where we're going to display our videos we display the video thumbnails and video title descriptions and all stuff this is where we're going to display them all these are your static html and css for now so we're going to make them dynamic now you're supposed to contain your channel ads also and your channel name and all that so this is the dashboard that we are actually using all right so let's make it dynamic let's bring in our dynamic content and all that okay so that's what that and lastly in the channel home page where we have the um v club studio i turn it to a dynamic link here we have this v, uh, v club studio i turn it to a dynamic link so that we can just click it when you click it we are using the url and tag to get to the channel dashboard with the channel the slug so i did this off a uh, camera and that's what i want to show you so you can get confused so once you click this uh, v club studio button that we have in the channel home page it will take you to this dashboard all right so that's that so let me quickly demo that so that you know what i'm talking about we head back to the channel's page this is the v club studio so once you click the v club studio it takes you to this uh, page so that's what i want to show you all right here we need to display the channel uh, icon and the channel name so let's take off that now remember we already bring in our channel instance into this uh, dashboard template so we can just navigate to where we have the so here where we have channel name we're going to make it dynamic now okay. all right that will give us name of our channel and um, here we have our channel icon this is the image here we also bring in our channel dot channel dot channel underscore icon I also make sure the spellings are correct dot URL to get us the image that's supposed to be there and that's that so let's save it and see if we're actually getting it so once we refresh for some reason we are not getting what we're supposed to so let's quickly check and see if we are missing anything oh sorry we didn't pass in the contest yet also i forgot to pass in the contest so i was wondering why we couldn't get our dynamic feed all right so to refresh you can see we have our channel uh, ads and the channel name here all right so that's working so we need to get the total number of video for this channel and the total number of subscriber and all that 
Alright, for us to actually get the list of videos for this very channel, we can actually query for the videos by saying, uh, give it a variable, let's call it my videos, and then we can get that from the videos. Video find that objects, you yeah, want to get the channel is equal to the channel that we just queried for. Now, this will return all the list of the video all right so we can pass this into our contest first all right so we save this first we can get back to our dashboard then where we are expecting the total number of videos here we are saying total number of videos we can just and say our video list which we call videos which is to give us the list of all the videos let's see if we have like four or five video objects it will give us the list and what a total of it so we can just call it the count method on it by saying videos dot count this we count the number of videos in the list and we have a subscriber we can get that from our channel because that is actually related to the channel so we can say channel in the model if we check the model again here we have a subscriber we actually created a method here right to get the number of subscribers okay. well, let's save this first and check all right you can see this in uh, particular video a channel has just two video and has a uh, zero subscriber because nobody has actually subscribed to this channel because a new channel we just created it all right that's actually working for us to actually get the let's start bringing out the video list and all that yeah inside the table button here we are having a table yeah which is the table that contains all the videos video description all that so inside this table row inside the table body we have a row and this row is where we're going to create our for loop to look through the video and uh, list by saying for I call it V videos, which is a video and uh, query that will pass into this contest. Yeah, this video so we need to end for think outside the row. Yeah, all right. Yeah, we shall have to bring the thumbnail of the video by saying V dot video dt thumbnail dot URL. it should give us the term the video title it should come in here where we have the v the video we don't want to show the whole description so we are going to truncate the video video dt so here we're going to bring in the truncate i want to truncate this with the five ways so we're going to bring in five ways all right so that's what we're doing here so if we save this hopefully we should get uh that as right so let's save this now just quickly and head back to our view and just refresh okay we can see the number of videos for this user he has two videos already in this channel the first video the thumbnail and the title so we need to actually get the date the number of views the number of uh, likes and also the number of uh, comments and all these uh, information we should bring it in Now remember the visibility and um, feed is a boolean feed so we're going to make a, a check here to say if the video has a visibility if the visibility feed is true it should show public if it is false it show private so that is going to be in here so just bring it in here so we are checking if the video dot video details dot visibility which is the boolean feed visibility in the video details and model if you check the model we have the video details, we have the visibility which is the video feed. 
so here we are checking if it's true we turn in public as we turn private all right so that's for that and um, here is the date so we're going to bring in the video date also so we want to format it and get the date so we can just bring in a slash and say date in the Django um, documentation that's where we get this and uh, dates filter to filter our dates um, I think the F stands for month day and year all right okay so next we need the view count so let's see if we can get the view from video you know the video has a relationship with the view count model if we check our here we have our view count it has a relationship with the video and the related name is view underscore count so we should get the view underscore count related name by saying v dot view underscore count dot count all right this should give us the name we can also use annotation to get the counts if you want to use uh, the modern annotation uh, property to get the count you can also do that so that we can give you the custom name you can also get it like this also for the comment for the likes where we have the v icons that will give us the like count and yes also the comments we can also get the the v dot comments which is the comment is the related yeah this is related name so we are using related name to get it so we see video dot related name so this should be tag dot count so if we save them and we head back to our model let's uh, refresh all right we are actually getting them the correct date the view count this video has just one view and this has zero view this has just one like zero comment zero comment and then zero and view all right so we're actually getting the correct data of all videos so let's go to the videos page and let's um, view this uh, video now this video now has one one view so if we like this video what's up guys welcome back it's been a while so if we head back to our channel and we go to videos and you can see the view is now one and the like is now one so we're actually getting the right uh, uh, statistic values all right it has two videos zero subscribers all right so this is about this is all about and uh, the dashboard view so in our next video we're working on how users can update the particular video information or decide to delete a particular video all right guys i will end this video here don't forget to subscribe and like we are already coming to the end of this uh, youtube clone series okay thank you guys don't forget to subscribe see you guys in our next video